Okay guys, here we go. <clears throat> I'm gonna try putting this on. Moving my hair back out of the way. We'll see if this really works. Ooh. I'm gonna put it on my problem areas. Right here. Already starting to dry a little bit, you guys. So I need to hurry up and get it on. And according to the YouTube video I watched, leave it on about 30 minutes. See if I can get the side a little bit better. No, oh, it's already pulling at hair. I feel that. That's because it's trying. Suggestion if you ever try this, right when you take it out of the microwave, put it on. Huh. Yeah, as you guys can see. I'm wasting some of it. Okay, let's try this again. Microwave this a little bit more. This is where I get the most black heads, white heads, where my skin is hyperpigmented. Hold on, guys. Just had to microwave this again because it was getting way too dried up and not spreading as you can see right here. But what I'm putting on right now, it's spreading. That's what I was saying. This is where I'm mostly all that hyperpigmentation is right here. And I get the most white heads and black heads. I'm going to go crazy now. Well, that's because the consistency is exactly where it's supposed to be, rather than that. This did okay. I'm going to go a little bit. all this very nice a little bit too much over here, and I've always been like this my whole life. All that peach fuzz and stuff. But as you get older, it seems like you notice a little bit more. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna let this sit. It says you're supposed to leave it on for about 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on about 30 minutes, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, I want to check in. Uh, as you can see, it is starting to work. I don't know if you can tell by the way I'm talking and how I really don't want to move my face. Um, doesn't really look any different as it's drying, especially on this side, which looks awful. But hey, so I'll try on error. It really doesn't matter what it looks like as long as it does a job. I'll be back in a little bit. Okay guys, it's time for me to be brave. Um, while this was drying, I got clothes out of my dryer, got my youngest up and into the shower for his doctor appointment today. Um, I even commented on the video that I got this recipe from. Um, I did make some tweaks to the recipe based on what I had available. Um, anyway, I'll make sure I add a card or a link 
wow, my oldest is seriously in there snoring. Hold on for a second. I hope that's better. Okay, the bedroom door was open and all I heard was snore galore. Anyway, back to what I'm doing. Let me kill this off before the youngest gets out of the shower. Multitasking always. Okay, guys. So if I candle childbirth, I can handle this, right? See anything? Maybe I have it on the wrong side. Well, if you can't see it, uh, there's actually bits of hairs on this. Okay, let's keep going. Let's see, let's try it again. Come on, focus, focus, focus. I guess that's not working. Okay, guys, let's keep going. If you guys can hear this, my, you can just hear it pulling away. That's where the whiteheads and blackheads are. And this is where I first started, where I initially started and it was kind of messed up. But you see that, you guys? You see that pulling? You know that's pulling hair, right? It gotta be. Because I feel it, and you have to see it. Now, I probably need better lighting to see the hairs. I know you guys probably can't see it, but trust me. I see it. Okay, let's hurry up and do this. We're in a race. A race to get this done before my son showers over. My face is a little warm. But it's not... It's not that bad as I thought it was going to be, you guys. I don't know if it's because I didn't use like regular milk and I used soy milk instead. I don't know if it's because I used olive oil instead of the recipe I actually got this from, which um, called for, I think it was tea tree oil. Mm. I think little recipes like this, as you look on YouTube, will have different variations when it comes to like essential oils or something like that. I'm sure you can make your own variation based on what you have. I want to use olive oil just because it's really good on the skin and I already use it <clears throat> in my oil mix for my hair. I'm trying to get these little pieces off. It's not bad, you guys. I actually thought my skin would get a lot redder from the irritation, which my skin normally does. I'm actually 
beautifully placed. Especially with these sides. Y'all, I was looking like I really had sideburns and that's not cute. And I get like random hair, like I'll get hair right there. I have some hair right here. Hormonal stuff. Like I said earlier, seems like the older you get, you just get different things you did really ask for. Like random hairs. Okay. I'm gonna wash the rest of that off. By the way, while we doing the close-up, y'all, my sides are coming back. Look at that. They're coming. Slowly but surely, they are coming. They are not bald anymore, you guys. Okay, let's do this. A little something. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know what this is doing for blackheads. Or whiteheads. Look at that. But for hair, I agree with one who um, whose YouTube channel I was actually looking at. Um, I get her name for you guys. Okay, Samantha Erica is her name. So she did give this, you know, a thumbs up for taking hair off as far as black and white heads. Um, I agree with her. I don't think it's the best way to, to remove that. So I'll probably be trying something else that I have in my YouTube stash. The people I follow. Telling you guys, I am a YouTube fan for real. Okay, this is a this is good for now. Hold on, one more thing. Okay, you guys, it's always a good idea if you're doing something to your face that may cause some irritation. You do want to cool down that irritation and close those uh, pores back up. Some ice. It's just like when we wash our hair in a final rinse when we're after conditioning, what do we do? We we'll rinse it with cold water because we want to close up those hair cuticles and then keep the moisture in. Which in turn creates healthy looking shiny strands. Why? Because those hair cuticles are flat instead of raised. So it's almost like the same thing with skin. The raised bumps that may come up because of the irritation, we want to flatten those out. That's why to do that is with something cold and that's nice. Okay guys, what do you think? My skin feels smooth. It actually feels good right now. I'm probably going to take a better look at this in daylight. Once I get some daylight through my uh, shades here. But all in all, I think it was a success. If you guys think I should do more skincare or videos like this, let me know. Make sure you leave a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and please hit that notification button uh, Bell because the only way you will know if I actually have uploaded a new video is to hit that bell. Trust me. It works most times Leave a comment And share this video I'll talk to you guys